So in our previous video, we implemented some features like the pagination and the bulk delete and also deleting these uh, single records. And in this video, we are going to be implementing the search functionality into our, in, in our data tables. So using this uh, search, using this search input field, uh, we can search through the multiple columns of the model like the student name email address or phone number and we'll also talk about how we can implement how we can search through the relationships of a certain model so the so first we'll be working on searching through the models columns different column fields like the name email address or phone number so in order to implement that let's go to our code visual studio code first and so here i have the model that is the input field so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wire model this to a property called let's call it search. So this will be the search term and I need to go to the students live wire component and I'm going to define a property here called search and let's set that to empty by default. And now let's display that search term here. And if I go and reload our browser, okay, I need to reload the browser. And if I go and type something here, then you can see the search term being displayed here. So our model, uh, so our wire model is working fine. And now let's implement the search functionality. So in order to implement the search functionality, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define a feature in laravel called scopes so if we go and check out the documentation of laravel uh, there are different kinds kinds of scope so we'll be using the local scopes here so local scopes are generally a kind of a function which are defined on the model so in our case we have a student model so, so we'll be defining a scope in our student model to search through the multiple columns so the way we define a scope is by appending a scope term into our function so if i'm defining a function if if we want to define a scope for a for the popular users popular words where the words is greater than 100 then we'll be uh, we'll be naming that scope as scope and then popular so scope followed by the function name and it will receive the query that we are building through so it will receive the query builder and then we can perform the search operation from here so now let's go to our student model and define a scope here so we need to define it as a function and the name that we are going to give it is will be a search so scope search and then it will receive the query builder as the parameter and also we are going to send the term the search term that we want to search through so these are the two parameters that we'll be receiving and let's wrap that inside a function so query where function so we'll be passing we'll be defining a function here so all the where fun all the functions all the where queries that we'll be defining inside this function will be run at once okay i'll just implement it and explain it later so it is going to receive the query here and we also need to use the term the search term that we are searching through the multiple columns and let's also go and check out the documentation so utilizing a local scope so now we are gonna query through our model so we want to query where okay let's first define the term we want to name let's just redefine the term the term will be we want to append the percentage sign so we'll be searching like the term 
just like we do in the normal search so let's wrap that so we are going to wrap that term with the percentage sign uh, so that it will search it will find the similar terms which resembles to this term in our database so we are going to pass so we want to search through multiple columns so in this case we want to search through the name which is like the term or where so we in order to search through multiple columns we will be appending or where so or where the email is like this term and we also want to search the phone number which is like this term and we also want to search the address which is like this term so this is this query is going to be returned from this function which will be executed whenever we call this function and we are going to call this function whenever we are fetching all the data data um, all the data all the tables from our database so now in order to implement this scope so scope search what we are going to do is we are going to go to our live bar, students live bar component and whenever we are fetching the, all the students then we are going to call that search function so remember so notice how we are only calling this search function with the small s and not the whole function here so we need to eliminate the scope part and only define only call this search part okay let's save that and here we are gonna pass this search term so the term that we have modeled it with and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pass it inside a function so the trim function uh, basically what it's gonna do is it is gonna remove all the white spaces from our term from our search term so this search and now our search function search functionality is going to work properly work so let's go and check our data table and reload and now whatever i type in here so if i type in plus 1 then it's going to return all the phone numbers where the value consists of plus 1 so plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so our search functionality is working fine here and if i type 1629 which is which consists uh, which is inside uh, an address field so that should also work fine 1629 so we have only uh, only one value is returned so it is also searching through the address field address column and if i search for no con so which is in a, on an email to check whether it is working or not and only one value is returned so no con other example.com so this function is also working fine so that is it is also searching through the email and lastly if i search for professor so all the values consisting of this term professor are returned so it is working fine here and one more feature about live i want to talk about is the debouncing the input so what i what i want to do here is after every 500 milliseconds duration so by default it is set to one 150 milliseconds so after every 150 milliseconds what livewire is going to do is it is going to make a request to our server at an interval of 150 milliseconds so we can change that to either one second or two second or 500 milliseconds and we also can apply the lazy updating but in this example i want to change that to 500 milliseconds so after every 500 milliseconds livewire is going to send a request to our server so which will drastically uh, decrease the request that our client is going to send to the server so wire model dot debounce dot 500 milliseconds so let's save that and go and check our database or check our table and if I type in plus one and after 500 milliseconds 
it is going to send the request and again if i type in space and then a comma and then a bracket 702 so this is going to drastically reduce the amount of requests that our client sends to the server okay so up till now we have achieved uh, searching through multiple columns of a certain model like searching the name email address or phone number so but what if you want to search through their relationships like searching the class and sections of a uh, section which are relationship which belongs to a certain class so certain uh, so student model belongs to a certain class and section so we, uh, how do you search through the relationships using livewire so the concept is that is used here will be uh, using laravel but we'll be making it real time using livewire so let's discuss how we can achieve that so let's go to our student model and first what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the documentation of how we can search through the relation so we have uh, the section here querying relations so we can do that using the where has where it was okay querying relationship existence so this is checking whether it has or not and we are gonna use the where has query builder here so where has where has takes two parameters first is the name of the relationship like if a certain post has comments then it's gonna we are gonna pass the relationship name here and the second argument is gonna be the function which is gonna pass the query and also the term and then we'll be searching through the comments model comment model where the name where the content is like code so this is the example that is shown here so let's go and implement that in our model in our student model so we are going to query the or where has query builder here because we we also want to search through the names email address along with the relationship name here so or where has and the name of our relationship is class as you can see here class and the second parameter is gonna be the function and we need to pass the query builder here so query and we also want to use the term the search term so we need to also pass that use term and let's also define the curly braces and now we are gonna search through our class model so query where so we have in our class model we have a field called name so we want to search the names of class the name is like our search term so this is going to be returned and we also want to search through the sections so we can append that here again or where has and the name of our relationship is section and we need to pass the function along with the query and we also need to use the term in order to search through the relation let's grab that in a curly brace and then we want to search the names of the section so we have defined it as name where the name is like our search term let's save that and let's go and reload our data table our browser so now if i search for class 2 only the classes with this name class 2 should be returned and yes it is working fine if i search for class 3 then only the search term with the value of class 3 where the class is class 3 are returned as you can see and if i search for class 1 which i don't have any so we should see it empty okay it's working fine let's also check it for section so we have section b so only the term containing the section b will be returned here so it is working till now section c okay we don't have any section c here if we search for section a 
So we do have this function A, okay. So in this video, we discuss about how we can search through a single model's multiple columns like the student name, email, address, phone number, and we can append as uh, we can append multiple columns using this method. So we can append or where columns or where query builder into our term into our model. So if we have multiple columns, then we can append those using this or where and we also talked about how we can uh, and we also talk, talked about how we can query the relationships of a certain model like the class and section using the or where has query builder so it takes two parameters the first is the relationship name and the second is the function that we need to pass through it and then we'll be querying uh, and then we'll be querying there Data, data table uh, database so query so we can also implement multiple searching here if you want uh, if you only want to implement name or we can also query through their another column you appending the or where method here like we did here so in this way we can achieve all the types of functionality using the query builders and let me also repeat the feature that we have implemented here the scope scope section here so we are defining a scope with the name of search and we are defined redefining the term appending it with percentage sign so it is gonna search the term relating to this term so percentage is gonna match it up with the characters and then we are wrapping our query inside a function and searching all of these at once so what is going to do is it is going to chunk all these re results and then pass it from here. So uh, it is going to return all of these at once. It is going to execute all of these queries uh, at once because we are wrapping it inside a function. So I hope you understand. So in this, uh, we also talked about the scope, local scope, defining the scopes and then searching through multiple columns. So I hope you understand the features that we have implemented in this video and if you have any questions or confusions then you can post a comment in the video and i'll try to uh, answer it if i can so in the next video we will be talking about filtering the data tables so filtering the tables by class so if we have four classes then if you click on class one then we wanna only want to display the classes that belongs to class one so and so on we'll be so this this feature we'll be implementing it in our next video so stay tuned for that and i'll see you in the next one